Assalamu alaikum students. Today's lecture is about the solution of mod equations. Modulus, also known as absolute value of a number, takes the number within two straight brackets and converts it into a positive number. Mod of negative 6 is equal to 6. Similarly, the mod value of negative 10 is equal to 10. In general, the modulus value of a number x is equal to square root of x squared. From here we can see that the mod of a number is always a positive number. So using this definition of modulus we can easily solve modulus equations. Now let's have a look at some examples. x minus 3 mod equals 5. Now we expand the left hand side using the definition of modulus x minus 3 squared whole square root equals 5. In order to get rid of square root on the left hand side we take square on both sides of the equation. Now after squaring both sides we get x minus 3 whole squared equals 25. Now on expanding the square on the left hand side we get x squared minus 2 times x times 3 plus 3 squared equals 25. After further simplifying x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 25 which further simplifies to x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 25 is equal to 0 x squared minus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and can easily be solved by factorization by splitting the middle term of the equation. Now taking x common from the first two terms and taking 2 common from the last two terms we get x times x minus 8 plus 2 times x minus 8 equals 0 which factorizes to x plus 2 times x minus 8 equals 0. Now x plus 2 equals 0 or x minus 8 equals 0 which gives us x equals negative 2 or x equals 8 is the solution of the equation. Now we have another example. x minus 3 mod equals 3x minus 4. Now expanding the left hand side using the definition of mod, we get x minus 3 squared whole square root equals 3x minus 4. After squaring both sides of the equation we get x minus 3 whole squared equals 3x minus 4 squared. Now we expand the squares on both sides of the equation. x squared minus 6x plus 9 
is equal to 9x squared minus 24x plus 16. Now taking all the terms on the same side we get 9. Now rearranging the like terms in simplifying gives us 8x squared minus 18x plus 7 equals 0. eight x squared minus eighteen x plus seven equals zero. Now this is another quadratic equation which can be solved by the method of factorization by breaking the middle term of the equation. So after breaking the middle term we get 8x squared minus 14x minus 4x plus 7 equals 0. Now taking 2x common from the first two terms we get 4x minus 7 and minus 1 into 4x minus 7 equals 0. In factor form, we get 2x minus 1 times 4x minus 7 equals 0. Now, 2x minus 1 equals 0 or 4x minus 7 is equal to 0, which gives us x equals 1 over 2 or x equals 7 over 4 is the solutions of the equation.